Welcome back guys to Mario and Luigi Paper Jammers. We continue onwards in these mines after mining out all the lovely beans inside or coins or whatever it was that we found in all the X marks the spots. So with our seal back after kind of fluking our way through the, I'd say, game, but we never really got to really encounter the game properly. We just knew that it wasn't near L blocks and it wasn't near P blocks and then we won. So that's a good thing that's been over here as we reach ourselves the door we were after all along and the one I'm guessing you guys were hoping I'd reach the last episode. So with that said, another being gained, we put the seal in and start our assault of Bowser's castle. Here we are again, if what we're told is right anyway. And so by the look of it, we've opened up the back door, but it makes sense that there's supply line here, the mine supply line, or whatever it, the crystals were fueling, leads to the castle. Oh man, I thought for sure that would open up a direct path to Bowser's castle, but instead, we just found another wall. Well, oh, looks like it's time to break out Trio Drill again. That's not exactly a bad thing, we've been using it a ton as it is. Well, I'm fine with that. If you're not, but I am. So let's get going and shoot ourselves across and over into new terrain. Finally, after all the backtracking, we are in somewhere new, somewhere better to explore. Of course, with more battles to come, ah, more enemies that we've already fought. So let's get ourselves into another battle and get Paper leveled up as well, because he's below the trend at the moment. There goes a few of the hats. Oh no, I don't like this way of doing it. No, don't attack me like this. Oh, I thought I'd count it with paper then. I got a really good counter with Luigi. Mean. This game can be very mean. Right, how are we going to go about doing this? Let's go with Fire Flower then and start off with that. Go with a Mass Hammer afterwards. We've already got one down. I prefer it if they did the line up hammer them thing, which we can get the counter on after all. Right, Mass Hammer, though to be honest I do want to get the copies back. And it's six at the moment, so there we go. Not enough damage though. Well, let's just hit that one. Not enough damage again, so here we go. And to the opponent that isn't got the count hasn't got the counter ability, that's a bit disappointing. To be honest then, either we go double up with a hammer. Yeah, we'll probably go with a hammer again here. Because I want to copy up. But we know these guys run away also. And I'd quite like the experience, thank you. And the ultra nuts that they give. The item gain is lush. So what do we get from else from here? Right, we got 50 coins, and yeah, who would have guessed that that would be a multi-coin block? And it seems now we've got walkways to go past. But once we've gone through them, I guess there's no way back? I do wonder. Oh, there is a way back, it's fine, you can kind of walk back against them. Right, so there's some coins, Ultra Mushrooms too, and 100 coins there, what does this say? You can dash to get back to the other side, who'd have guessed? It's even better if I do it like that. Oh, I can't get back on the walkway. All right, we need to change the hammer, of course. Let's go. And get rid of this group. There's a few of the helmets, and now they're coming in line. Okay. To a counter opponent. Of course, they do less damage to them if they've got their spiky helmet on. Well, that's a fair whack done there. Fireflower should be able to take out a few, and considering it's a low BP move, I don't mind using it. I do definitely prefer them lining up, though. There's a couple taken care of, and what's this? A 1-up DX. Okay. Well, all the same, I'll take the two copies this time round. Line up, guys. Oh, okay, we got one more. Let's take out the one. This should make them line up in some senses, because if they go with the charging attack, it's not really going to work, is it? Of course, we've got the spiky facing hammer here. 
So let's take rid of that helmet. Yeah, you're gonna run, aren't you? Give me the ultranut! Well, I don't know what the 1-Up DX is, but next time an opponent, well, one of our guys, gets knocked out. It's probably the next boss fight, right at the start, as usual. Well, I guess we'll find out then. Paper's about to reach 100 speed, however. That's quite a high stack gain. Multi-coin block, we'll take everything here. Okay, we got to jump to get them, have we? To be honest, going against them, you don't even need to dash, you just need to jump. A double one-up mushroom. And again with the jumping. Okay, that's a bit high. There we go, got it. It's probably perspective, it seems. I've got to be in the exact right line with it. There we go. And yet another opponent. Doesn't seem they ever charge me, though. Wait, how was that not a hammer attack? Oh, this is going to be horrible. Well, I can dodge them, as you can see, but I wasn't expecting that kind of craziness. Go away, horrible things. I'll take the copy here, because if you know what I've planned, it's yet again more uses to pro points. Following this into a cannonball, that seems like a good idea, wouldn't you say? So a few of the helmets taken care of, which does lower their damage resistance, but not all of them. Cannibal chuck time! I've not been using any of my cards for a while, they just seem like boss things. There we go, get the crush on the helmeted guys, and one opponent remains! What are you gonna do, run away? Nope. You don't even get that chance, let's just hammer. I nearly counted six and five then. Oh well. We got it excellent all the same. And now we look towards Mario's level, of course, next. As we get closer and closer to that halfway point. What's the point in getting nearer to our next rank? Which is definitely what we want. Enemies all around. There goes a few more of the helmets. Can't really trust. Oh, uh, I want you on the counter. -er. I want you on the counter. -er. Well, if they've all lost their helmets, which they have, how do I go about dealing with this apart from that? Because they're probably not going to line up again, but I kind of want to keep some of my bro points. Oh, let's go for the fire and see if anyone lives after that. I imagine they probably all will be alive still. Unless one of them gets a really big dose of the fire. Okay, a few of them taken down. That makes three out of three. Now time for them to run away, of course. Nope, okay, we got ourselves a second hammer. Which does finish the job, nice. Have we really got that much speed now? No ultra nuts, no items gained, even though there's quite a few opponents there. We've got ourselves to the warp pipe, but of course there's going to be something else around here. No, 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 don't dig. After defeating these, we'll find out exactly where we're going. Of course, I'm not going to pass up this lovely, beautiful, free experience. It's a lot easier to defeat enemies. Why would I do such a thing? With hard nut items that I could gain there. Look, another one up DX. Not bad, not bad. Another one smashed down, no problem. And I don't know. Should I use an item? Oh, just hit him, hit him, hit him. I know they're probably going to both run away at the moment. Oh no, they're still there, and they're still... This Paper Mario has that much speed now. One's going to run, though. Really? I guess if you knock off their helmet, they get changed so they don't attack again? 
No need for an excellent. Just finish the job. No items, but still. My last group of three didn't give me anything at all. Well, we make it out of here. And where to? Well, it seems I didn't need to worry about... My BP, because there's this right here. But what's this warp pipe being cased by some orange amber kind of glob? I was wandering around underground when I stumbled on this remote little island. It's so pristine and untouched, it's eerie, like it's been deserted or something. In fact, it's the perfect setting for a thriller. You say that. I don't want it to be, though. Well, it seems that we have to make it over using our own power to different areas, first of all. So let's get exploring. Aha! Good. This way over here, we'll make it through to... Oh, not you guys! Go away, I don't like you. I kind of want them abolished. Oh, here we go then. Ah! I know what they're doing now. Still doesn't mean I do it right though. There we go. Oh, that was a good hit. A good solid hit. Well, that said, trio racket to take down as much as possible and shrink them into the one. Which is better for Paper and Luigi, after all, to do solitary attacks. Come on! It's up to you, Luigi. If you get it, then the rest of us get it. Nice! And that takes down the bottom lot. Expert Trio Racket is finally gained after all of that. Oh! Wrong person! The reason I got the wrong one there is because I'm so guarded on paper, of course. You don't really want him getting hit. That takes out two, but of course he's going to split now, which makes Mario's attack kind of pointless. I guess you get one. And it splits into one again. To be honest, I probably should have just skipped the turn. Oh, I actually got it! There's a counter timing there? Okay. If you say so. That's fine with me. And still one survives. Won't much longer, though. We're leveling up past those guys. Mario's not cl far off again. Alright, what we want is just items. Not money, items please. Oh well, you're going to give me that anyway, aren't you? So what are these for? Do they take me down to different areas? Okay, so there seems to be puzzle areas underneath. You can dash away through spider webs. Well, that's nice to know, but... Okay, seems to me that there is a race going on here, and something to try out the dashing through spider webs through first. And each one takes a different amount of time. We've got a rally belt there. Which I didn't exactly see what it was in terms of anything, but I'm guessing... It's an item not exactly, you know, kind of like something like that. Rally belt. There must be something for a paper then. Oh, I can't see a rally belt. Oh, there it is. Okay, boost power whenever you take damage from enemies. Yes, it is a general item again. Found it in the end. We found an item, finally, again at last, but it seems we've got a challenge which requires us to speed through an area fast after hitting here. So we've got to choose the right route somehow. And we've got to hit that in time. So of course you'd go this way first. Aha, I see. And that one's going to be a lot faster to get through than the others. And we go along here, dodge that, dodge that, dodge that, 
all the way along. Then the third one. Dodging that, of course. Of course, we could probably get in that, but... All the same, let's go through. Stop, jump! No problem! No problem at all. What does that get us? Well, something. And I guess... If I had to say anything, I'm going to hit it. So it could be the setting of a thriller indeed, as a pro. Shines onto the amber. Lasers! Setting up lasers is always a good thing. And with that comes our way back, which leads to, hopefully, a ton of beans, rather than coins. Oh. Okay, one stash beam. Right. Defense beam. I was wondering if that would get me all the way over or just make me plummet into nothingness. There's the beans we were after. So it seems we've got ourselves little islands full of mini games to do. And then they open up something else in the end overall. With a couple of enemies as well to break up the puzzling. Open up, little ones. This is where Luigi going first will be best. Now you're going to go up. Bang. I like how only some of them get defeated. It's a bit confusing, but still. And now we hit the other lot. Well, that's a fair lot taken care of. Okay, it's just a big hammer. I took down a fair few more copies. In fact, there's just one of one left now. Oh, I thought I'd get the counter on that one. Whoa! So you're good with spiky foes, so may as well take on that one. Even though the other one hasn't attacked yet, that takes three out of you. What are you going to do? Oh, that's probably bad for us. That's the other one defeated. Alright, Ultra Mushroom gained. Paper Fire Piranha Plant Dodge. I guess the more battles we do, of course, the more expert challenges we complete. Is there any way we can, like, laminate our cards and stop them looking so scruffy? Because I keep looking down at the bottom of the screen going, well, I could use those cards, but there's not really much point either. Oh well, let's keep going. Right, so we've got the other bit over there, and okay, a cheap cheap comes to attack us here. Oh, you got away! Well, boo to you. I'm going to take these coins. Saying that, it took me a fair little bit longer to jump up to get that than I thought. Right, so we can get over to that way from that side. And it seems, yeah, okay, the cheap cheaps are still coming. Right, if I start the jump... Oh, come back! I'm getting tired. Is it because you're high up? Here we go. Now I'm wondering, because these count as flying enemies, if I jump on them there, does Mario do lots of extra damage? Which it looked like, to be honest, he did. Wouldn't you say? That's one completely smashed. Of course, we have gained a fair few levels since we were last here. And what I'm wondering is, can Mario take out one of them all by himself? Well, we're not going to find out that. Oh, there we go. No, I didn't need to jump. Because I was wondering. Yes. 122 damage overall there. Oh, Mario, so close to your level. So close, man. There's no other enemies on this little island for us to get you to tick up that bit. So another challenge is met. Now what's going on here, we wonder? Let's check out the terrain before we decide to do anything. What's going on? There's bats! You Hello! Go. New enemy! And your paper as well. Paper flying. Are you like shurikens? At different heights? Whoa! I guess I've got to land on one of you to do kind of do some damage. There we go, I've got one. So you can get multiples depending on how high you jump. And I guess for... Ah, 
Some of them you don't need to jump on. Oh. You gotta listen to kind of a sound timing, I think is the way to put it. Alright, take that one out. That's most of them. Luigi's next, so may as well try to take down the rest. Indeed, we did get him. And of course, you've got flying power against this one. I was hoping to peel off multiple copies. Your attack. Okay, it's a different attack. What's going on? Oh, we survived it. And we even took up one for our troubles. So I guess not a bad thing. Now we're just bullying the last one, really. That's just not even excellent it. For 100 straight damage, I planned that. Alright, so new enemies around, but Mario levels up as well. Level 24. Three more levels to go to the next rank. Four more extra power there. So another troll is about to be encountered as we get ourselves more beams or coins. We'll find out what it is next episode as we continue on. Is it just bats? Is this quicksand? There seems to be oil on the... Oh, that's grass, isn't it? That's grass. It's just dark and gloomy. We'll find out next time what happens when we open all these clamshells. Bye-bye.